A new photography exhibit is giving an inside look into the daily lives of the homeless, and the photos are actually taken by homeless individuals themselves. Michael Matter is the founder of Hippie Feet and joins us now to tell us about the Mile in My Socks photography exhibit. Michael, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. This sounds like such an incredible project. Tell us how it kind of came to be. So it, it was. Uh, a relatively simple idea at first, let's hand out cameras to individuals experiencing homelessness and an effort to show what the reality of, of their day-to-day -day experiences actually is. Um, we wanted to do more on um, our side as Hippie Feet to provide employment to young people that are experiencing homelessness. So we decided that we'll hand out these cameras and actually um, pay them to return the cameras and offer some more incentive uh, off of the commission, the sale of the actual photo itself. Um, but what we asked is we asked them to document the day-to-day -day experiences, you know, something that they found to be beautiful, that they found to be beneficial to their um, experience as a young person experiencing homelessness, um, and asked them to take photos of that and then write a journal entry with each photo. And you chose six. 16 different youth who are experiencing homelessness. Yes. How did you go about doing that and selecting these individuals? So Hippie Feet, we partner with YouthLink, which is a um, nonprofit out of Minneapolis here. And they work with young people ages 16 to 23 um, and help them find housing, employment, uh, shelter, food, the, the works, uh, really anything that you can uh, uh, need as a young person experiencing homelessness. And you're the founder of Hippie Feet, which is kind of a buy one, give one when it comes to socks. So yes, why don't you socks. show off your socks of, of for us? So we can show everyone. Those are just <laughs> those are simpler uh, compared to some of the other ones you can get. But kind of how has uh, that idea inspired you to give back uh, full circle? So. Uh, we started with socks. Obviously, we're providing a tangible donation. Socks are the most requested, least donated article of clothing to shelters. So we wanted to be able to provide um, a short-term solution. Um, employment is our approach to provide a long-term solution. So if you're experiencing homelessness, uh, you don't have a, a, a license, a place to stay, it's hard to get a job. So we want to be able to provide a job to these young people so that they can uh, actually start to make uh, gains in their own personal careers. And they're going to be getting 30% of 30%, the profit. Yes. And so That's not so only cool. does does that teach them skills, but it also teaches that their work is valuable, that they have skills that they can contribute to the community. Absolutely. They're going to be able to see um, their art being admired by other individuals. Uh, for example, the photo of the piano there was Anthony, one of the youth that participated in this project. He took that uh, photo of his original art, so he actually painted that piano, and it's still on display in downtown. And the way that he oh, describes wow. it is that that gives him hope because what he can contribute to the world through his art um, is, is recognized by other people and enjoyed by other so people. So cool. Image. Well, if you would like to attend the exhibit, it is tonight. It's called The Mile in My Socks, and it starts at 4.30 at Lake Monster Brewery in St. Paul. There will be free food, beer, cocktails, and a chance to w get signed Minnesota Wild gear. The photos will be for sale as well. Again, 30% of the proceeds will go to the photographer. The rest will go to the Elpis Enterprises and Youth Link MN. And you might get a chance to meet the photographers today, which is the sweetest part. Absolutely. Michael, thank you so Michael, much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. What Appreciate a great it. idea. Kylie?